it was like Transformers the movie was the Game of Thrones of a generation, right? That cynical ploy to sell more toys had quite an effect on the youth of today. Hi, I'm Jamie Hernandez, and this is The Ins and Outs with Mackie, a show about awesome gear and awesome people. We'll be bringing musicians, engineers, podcasters, streamers, and sometimes the occasional Mackoid. If you're new to the show, make sure to hit that subscribe button on your favorite platform to get all the latest Mackie updates as soon as they're out. So our guests today are here on Earth with one critical mission, to party like it's 1986. This band of Cybertronic warriors play their music from Transformers the Movie, hit film and anime songs, and video game covers. They blend their love of the 80s and 80s metal into an Energon-fueled, unforgettable live show. They have been brought together by the power of rock and roll, and they can't be stopped. Welcome to the show, Shockwave, Hot Rod, and RC from the Cybertronic Spree. Hey, what's up, Earth? Good to see you today. <laughs> Thanks for having us here, Jamie. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello. So you've been rocking conventions and events since 2013. How did this band come together? Uh, it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> I was just sitting in my car, you know, transformed, and I had Transformers, the movie soundtrack, going on the stereo, and I thought, what would be cooler then rocking out with the bots on stage live and doing all these classic tunes from the likes of Vince DiCola, Stan Bush, NRG, and Kickax. So I made a few calls. I had a lot of rejections. Um, and I managed to assemble a crazy bunch of wild mechanical monsters to form the band. Yeah, I think Shockwave was one of those early rejections. <laughs> yeah, I had to audition thrice. Wow, we had standards back then, and they were very low. Um, but we've gotten a lot better since then, and we love nothing more than being brought together by the power of rock to transform people's faces live. <laughs> I love it. So you've captivated audiences across Canada and the U.S. with performances at some pretty prolific comic cons and festivals. How have your live shows evolved since you first started? Well, I mean... Uh Right off the bat, we just have more bots now, so that's a great thing. Um, we have two drummers, so this is one of our amazing drummers, Shockwave, and the other one is Rumble. So I think that's, that's one of the biggest ways we've transformed is just more rock. Yeah, definitely. There's a quantitative thing, but also a qualitative thing. We've really come a long way. We were built for one show only. That's right. We were going to play one show and then call it a night because anyone who follows the Transformers know the Autobots and the Decepticons are not besties. So imagine <laughs> starting a band with your enemies. It kind of sucks. And to be fair, it did suck for a long time. But we are all brought together by the power of rock. And that's why we just cannot be stopped. Nice. Well, tell me more about the other members. We have three of you today. You've got a, a whole group of... Robots, let's talk about them. Well, we have the Quintesson on guitar and vocals, and the almighty Unicron on lead guitar. He doesn't say much, but it comes out in the shredding. And we have Soundwave. He's our uh, hype bot and carries all the cassettes uh, for, in the tour van. Um, <laughs> On occasion, we have Bumblebee, you know, every birthday party's favorite. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, Bumblebee's now a big deal, just having a recent movie and stardom. Well, that's yeah, it. Yeah, stardom. Stardom. Yeah, it's, it's smoke and mirrors, guys. <laughs> True. And uh, we also should shout out to Spike, our first and only ever human who's joined us on stage. He was there at the beginning, and now sometimes we'll resurrect him for special shows. Very nice, very nice. So what's it like finding out that there's a demand for people to hear songs from a cult favorite movie that's over 35 years old? I know, right? I thought I would be the only person that wanted to see this live, and the internet has proven us wrong. Um, who knew that something that destroyed your childhood growing up <laughs> would become such a mm, nostalgia bomb to enjoy later on in life? Uh, <laughs> but here we are. I Here think it's are. just, it's like a collective mourning. You know, it kind of feels good. Everyone can get together and mourn their childhood together. Yeah, 
Yeah, you know what? It was like Transformers the movie was the Game of Thrones of a generation, right? No one saw that red wedding coming. Uh, that cynical ploy to sell more toys had quite an effect on the youth of today. So now And the grown. adults of today, as <laughs> as our producer and editor showcased earlier. Well, we'll, we're millions of years old, so, you know, even the uh, (laughs) older humans are quite young to us. Yeah, you guys are babies. I can see that. (laughs) So you crowdfunded your very first studio album, Transformers 1986. What was that process like? It was really hard. (laughs) (laughs) Uh, Because it took us a long time to get used to playing Earth instruments. See, here's the thing about Cybertron. It's full of robots and stuff, but... One of the things it really lacks is music. And Cybertronian music is a lot like what you humans have, dial-up modem. It's just a bunch of (laughs) bee-oo-bee. So learning to play instruments here, which are just way better, was a very difficult process. But once we kind of got the hang of it, we felt like we could probably do the songs justice. And that's what we started working toward. And the Kickstarter was allowed, that allowed us to make it happen. It was also really nerve-wracking because we we were paying homage to all these songs that like fantastic musicians had done, like Stan Bush and Vince DiCola. So for just speaking as a keyboardist, I was very nervous, thinking, "Oh my gosh, is Vince DiCola going to hear this and <laughs> feel shame?" Or <laughs> so you know, I wanted I I really wanted to do a, a great job and make it sound great. Well, you're all very fantastic musicians yourself so don't sell yourself short there you uh recently did a vinyl release of transformers 1986 is that still available and where can people purchase your album you've got an ep darkest hour out let's talk about that yeah i our vinyl um it's all sold out it uh yeah who know humans are just like retro loving creatures i guess but uh yeah we have a tour variant that we'll have with us uh, for when we perform live shows once again, uh, where people can get it. But otherwise, uh, yeah, both the first and the second pressings have now sold out. Um, as for our Darkest Hour EP, that's available digitally online on our Bandcamp store. Wow, well, congratulations on that. Yeah, that one was fun to do because it was like a stretch goal for our Kickstarter, and we achieved it, and uh, they happen to be the extra songs from the soundtrack. So there's some deep cuts, but they're, they're really great. So you mentioned tour. You're going on your first North American tour this fall. You're also going to be working on an original follow-up album. Can you share a little bit about that? Yeah, we hope to go on our first North American tour this (laughs) fall. Um, So yeah, we're playing it by ear. We're rebooting, I guess, our tour from last year. Uh, That didn't end up happening. So yeah, we're hoping that everybody is sticking together and crushing that COVID so that uh, we can all have fun together. Because you know what? Our live shows are all about having fun with the audience. We're doing a bunch of songs that everybody knows the words to and just kind of hits that, scratches that pop culture itch. So it really is um, an experience to be taken live rather than just witnessed on the YouTubes. And the YouTube is amazing. The YouTube videos are just... They blow you away. So I can't imagine actually being there live in person. Too amazing. So. Oh, thank you. That's very sweet. You recently did a collab with Weird Al in your video, Dare to be Stupid. I loved it, by the way. How do you come up with your video concepts? <laughs> well, that, that one was easy. <laughs> um, we really just wanted to pay tribute to... I mean, with all the music that we cover in the band, we're here to pay tribute to Earth's greatest talents in music. And so with Weird Al Yankovic and covering his Dare to be Stupid, we thought, let's cover Weird Al's catalog of his music videos, which are parodies on other people's music videos. And that kind of meta thing, that just gets us. So the concept was really easy to come up with, but terribly difficult to execute. (laughs) Well, you did a great job, and it's very awesome. Uh, Where can people check that out if they haven't seen it already? Yeah, that one is available on YouTube, and we highly recommend you watch it to the very end um, to get the full experience. (laughs) (laughs) You have started writing original songs now, like Cybertronic Warrior. How is this process evolving into something that's uniquely your own now? Shockey, let's hear from you. (laughs) 
Yeah, I feel <laughs> like um, we just want to bring our, our own original um, works into this band. I feel like we all have uh, pretty good taste now that we've been on Earth for a while. <laughs> and, um, you know, so we've been writing together and each bot is bringing in an idea and it's been going uh, really well so far. Nice. So can we look forward to some more original music? Yeah, definitely. I think um, I think maybe we're going to be doing a little or giving you guys a little taste of some of our original performances as part of this here interview for folks oh, who nice. stick around at the end. So yeah, you get a chance to hear what we've been cooking in. Buckle up, humans, because I'm driving and I've got wheels of fire!
So what do you have to say about all this support and the community that has kept this fandom alive? Well, we really love it because, uh, you know, as Hot Rod said, we were built for one night only. And <laughs> there really wasn't a reason to continue if it wasn't for all the fans and the community and just... Um, just the like the outpouring of like excitedness for music and pop culture all together. It, it's like, yeah, it was a good decision to come to Earth. <laughs> yeah. You got the best of both worlds for yeah. sure. Humans do a lot of things terribly. Um, so don't get a big head about this, but nobody rocks like Earth. Like <laughs> nobody. You go to Mars, that place is dead. Music there sucks. Boo. Nobody goes to shows. <laughs> like Go Earth. You you've it, you're easily at the top in the solar system, at least. So, um, yeah, we really, we really love hanging around here, and it really is the fans that kind of keep us, keep us stuck on this planet. We try, man. We really try. <laughs> takes. Takes. So, I think this is a perfect time for our ins and ins and out takes, which is a rapid fire of random questions. Are you ready for that? Oh yeah! Bring it. All right. So this one, you guys can answer, you robots can answer in whatever order you'd like. Um, if you could transform into any piece of Mackie gear, what would it be? Big knob. Oh, I was going to say big knob. <laughs> I'm going to say um, your USB microphone. Good choice. Good choice. Hot Rod? I'm still saying he big knob. He wanted the big knob. Oh, he's going to say big knob. I've been talking about the big knob all night. Stan Bush or Vince DeCola? Vince DeCola, Stan Bush, I love you. Or is that the answer for all three of you? Mm, yeah. <laughs> you used to be enemies, but have now been brought together by the power of rock music. What is your favorite song to play as a band? Nothing's gonna stand in my way. I, I really like playing Instruments of Destruction. That's a good one. R.C. Slays, that one. Yeah, she, oh, yeah. thanks, Shocky. destroy it. <laughs> All of them, really. I can't decide which of my children. <laughs> Come on, Hot Rod. This is rapid fire, okay, rapid and you're fire. Okay, hot here rod. we go. Here we go. <laughs> I'm going to say I really enjoy playing Transformers, the uh, lion theme. I knew it's you were going to say that. so good. And it's like right <laughs> off the top. It's just, yeah. All right. Shockwave. NRG or Spectre General? NRG. Uh, hot Rod. NRG. NRG. Same, RC? Can I say kick axe? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Your immigrant song has now over 2 million views. Congratulations. Which video do you all go back and watch the most of? I don't think we do that very I, much. No, I, you know what I do? Okay, you in do? secret, okay. they don't know, but <laughs> I go back and watch Cybertronic Warrior. I love the video, and I'm not trying to be egotistical, as they say, but um, it's because we got an amazing director to make that video for us, Stephen Kostansky, who um, some of you may know as the director of The Void and more recently, Psycho Gorman. So it's it's such a cool video. I'm just like... I'm in disbelief that we have such a cool video. That's totally fair. I watch that at least once a day. Yeah, you know, I, <laughs> I show all my friends that one when they come over. So do you all have a name for your fans? Crazy. No. What? Oh, no, that wasn't it. Ro ro no. No. We, we've been trying for years to get, you know, a catchy fan name for our fans. Have we? I, I don't remember any of those <laughs> meetings. I, really, I think... Uh, <laughs> Humans. I think that's what we call them. Like every humans, night, we're like, yes. hey, what's up, humans? Oh, humans. Yeah. Yes. That works. I, I like that. I don't think anyone else is doing that. <laughs> Do you have any secret hidden talents not pertaining to transforming and music? Well, um, I actually recently took a, a mixology course. Um, I, I thought it was for uh, mixing DJ music, but I found out it was for cocktails. So <laughs> I have my own show um it's a uh, shockwaves cocktails but shocks cocks for short and i make drinks for humans that i can't consume but i trust they are good actually what about you rc 
I just want to shout out because Shockey made me a drink yesterday and it was fantastic. Um, my my hidden talent is uh, it's juggling, actually. You can juggle. Wow. I th- yeah, like I. Are you I, a yeah. juggler? <laughs> <laughs> I can have to pivot yeah. for these guys for these other robots sometime. <laughs> I mean, that does make sense. We did play the j- gathering of the juggalos. What is that when you picked up the juggling? Yeah, because I'm like, well, we're playing this gathering of the juggalos. I guess I should learn how to juggle. Oh, yeah, oh, wow. we're pretty dumb when it comes to human stuff. Yeah. <laughs> what about you, Hot Rod? Any hidden talents? Yeah, I kind of like to draw stuff and um, like, uh, like, yeah, I mean, I got to do the artwork for the uh, Darkest Hour cover, uh, so that was kind of cool. It was, uh, it was directly a result of Kickstarter fans saying nice. they'll give us some money if I drew the cover, so I drew it. Very nice. This question's for RC. What's better, being a big robot in a small universe or a small robot in a big universe? Definitely the latter, because if you're a small robot in a big universe, there's just so much more to explore. I agree with that. I like that a lot. You all agree with that? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Anything else? Any websites you'd like to share? Um, you already talked about where people can find your music. Any upcoming videos to look forward to? I mean, we're always working on videos when we're not trying to reboot our tour. Uh, so those interested in checking out our live show, whenever that may be, uh, hopefully this fall, uh, they can go to our website, thecybertronicspree.com, and that lists out all the dates we'll be playing in our North American tour and any future dates we might add along the way. Yeah, Very and awesome. for, for fun socials, you can check us out on Twitter, Instagram, there's Facebook, and... Um, We haven't really told anyone we're on TikTok, but we're on TikTok. (laughs) Oh, no. Here we go. Well, thank you guys again. Before you go, who do you think we should invite onto the podcast next? Oh. It could be humans, robots. I mean, pretty doors pretty much open to anyone at this point. (laughs) I I think you should invite Vince DiCola. Oh, definitely. Okay. Yeah, Yeah. we're we're staying thematic here. I was going to say, um, just... If you guys reach out to Guar. <laughs> oh my gosh, we were talking about that like right before this, seriously. <laughs> no joke. That's a great that's a great one. That well, would be cool. Yeah, I guess sometimes we're called Robo Guar, so it seems only fitting. <laughs> well, thank you so much from the bottom of our sparks. Mackie, thanks you for being here. Cybertronic Spree. We hope you have a great year. Thanks, thank Jamie. You. What you're doing? Thanks so much, Jamie. Once again, I'm Jamie Hernandez, and this is The Ins and Outs with Mackie, a show about awesome gear and awesome people. We'll be bringing you musicians, engineers, podcasters, streamers, and sometimes the occasional Macoid. If you're new to the show, make sure to hit that subscribe button on your favorite platform to get all the latest Mackie updates as soon as they are out. Till all are one, Macoids. Till all are one. <laughs> It's the end of the house.